Um, the course is to prepare students for um, careers in the engineering, um, architectural, um, construction, landscaping fields. Um, it has to do a lot with um, scaling things, large things to, uh, you know, a size where you can work with. Uh, mainly we sketch out like an architect. We learn architectural techniques where we would sketch out what we're going to plan to do and build on a uh, graph paper or grid paper and then we kind of build a model of it, a smaller model of what would, would be, and then we actually take what we have on our model and turn it into an actual life-size thing. They really actually sit there for a while and they really brainstorm ideas and they've come up with some things that I would have never thought about. Uh, we built a model of an outhouse, that was our first project where we created, we would paint it or um, Brent Bohannock used bark, he actually got real tree bark and put it on the outhouse and made it look like it was in the woods. When you build it and you see what you did on paper actually came to life, it's actually really cool. You work with rulers, you work with scales, you work with fractions, you work with dimensions and all that. It's You take the little basic concepts and then you design this whole beautiful thing. Like You don't have to be an architect or an engineer for this class. You can be anybody who just likes to draw and you can understand it. I thought I would be just constricted to one thing, like math is constricted to numbers, science is constricted to formulas, ELA is constricted to spelling it proper wording. This class gives you opportunities to think beyond of what the others would think. This could really lead to a higher element of technology and I've spoken to the math teacher as far as maybe getting into like robot like more robotics and animatronics and mnemonics and you know to actually make these things that they make move put motors in them you know that's kind of where I kind of want to be in a few years. Well for college I kind of want to major in engineering so uh, this would definitely help from an engineering standpoint because architecture and engineers, they go hand in hand with each other. It's very exciting for me. I get, I love it. I, I can't believe some of the things that these kids have come up with and I can't believe like I'm just, you know, progression of things they wouldn't try and all of a sudden now they're doing that and then they're doing more. So it's, it's, it's been a very good experience for me.